scarlet blaze, skirmish in the fog. The Empire captures Garrig Mach, and when the lords of Fargus and Leicester declare their allegiances to the Central Church, they incur Edelgard's ire. She sends one army to the Alliance under the command of her war minister, Count Burglies, and leads a second herself to the kingdom's castle Gaspar, the bastion of Northern Roe. Lady Edelgard, we have received an urgent message from Count Roe. Apparently, he has taken up arms against the kingdom. What is he thinking? He was supposed to join his troops with ours so we could use our combined strength to strong arm more of their neighbors into declaring fealty for us. What use is a plan if the man won't follow it? It also seems that Lord Lenato, one of Rose Castle the Bannermen, has gone so far as to mount a one man crusade against the Archbishop. He has long held deep enmity for Lady Rhea, and likely leapt into action at news of Garrick Mach's fall. I should have suspected he would lack self-control when it came to his vengeance. Naturally, the Kingdom mobilized troops in response, and now move to strike Lenato down as we speak. So, where does this put us? Can we get reinforcements to him in time? You want to save the man, Your Majesty? If I may, we would march all that way for what, exactly? Imagine the consequences of leaving him to die. We need our vassals to believe the Empire will always come to their aid. Always. Of course, Your Majesty. I will make the arrangement straight away. The region northeast of Castle Gaspar is shrouded in deep fog this time of year. That likely accounts for why they are currently only engaging in minor skirmishes. Which means we still have time to intervene. Good. Now make our plans known to the others. I'm counting on you, Hubert. At once, Your Majesty. All of this makes me even more concerned about the situation in Leicester. Nothing has impeded Minister Burgley's march east, has it? It has not. In fact, Count Gloucester has given him leave to garrison our troops there. I hear he has begun turning the screws on House Ordelia, and any other lords who have yet to make their allegiances clear. On the other hand, the Alliance's more powerful houses have united in their condemnation of Count Gloucester's actions. The Minister may soon face a battle with Houses Regan and Goneril, if not others. I can't picture a battle the Minister wouldn't win most handily. Still, the Alliance's new leader, Claude, is an unknown quantity. We can't risk underestimating his skill. Quite right. One can never be too cautious.
Hmm. On another matter. Which battle do you wish to reflect on? I'll continue gathering records of your battles. Over here. Please listen. Let's chat. Well, well. Hello, you. Mm. We have some truly capable people. Mm. We have some truly cap- mm. We have some truly capable people here.
come back soon, all right? Wait up. friend. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Hmm. Um, excuse me. Let's see. Thank you very much. something around. Hey there. Need something? Is 
See you around. Got a second? the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. Oh, thank you. I'm going to enjoy every bite. This is my favorite. Come back whenever you're hungry. Care to make yourself useful? on you both. I will finish it summarily. And you need me for this? Are you sure? We all must do our fair share. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Power will serve me in the times to come. There must be more to this.
Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Gaze upon my... the most of this ability. Can't let this power go unused. I'll surely put this to good use. This is quite fascinating. Time to work you into shape. Don't I look splendid? I wish this was for something besides war. Can't wait to see how you do.
Bernadetta. I see the documents I was waiting for have finally arrived. <laughs> Hubert! I'm not doing anything bad! Then would you be so kind as to hand those over? They are addressed to me, after all. Oh, um, right. Edelgard asked me to bring them. Phew, that was heavy. What are all these documents anyway? Old records of bandit activity in this area that I need for my investigation. Hey, that reminds me. I heard we had a group of bandits cornered, but they sort of... got away. Yes, a most vexing development. It beggars belief that our troops prove unable to exterminate even these few stray vermin. <laughs> Wait, are you angry? Oh, I doubt it is worth raising my ire over. <sighs> That's good. Um, but you look like you're angry. Bernadetta. Are you aware of how your persistence often leads to the very outcome you wish to avoid? Uh, I mean, uh, yes? In any event, my mood is what it is because I must now locate a den of rats. I will need to research previous stomping grounds, then cross-reference the location of their old layers in order to work out where this new one might be. Wow, that sounds like a ton of work. Yes, but there is nothing for it. These craven rats will not re-emerge once they've burrowed into their nests. Hey, neat! I definitely understand the desire to burrow in somewhere and never come out. and stuff, they might slip up and leave? Maybe? Possibly? I mean, everyone loves festivals, except when there are people around, which is usually the case. Somehow I suspect you would not emerge for even the most magnificent of carnivals. However, you and the rats may differ on that point. We do what now? Yes, of course. Unlike you, these thieves have no particular desire to live away from others. We have had them on the run for some time, which means they've not been able to earn coin through their usual underhanded work. Thus, if I were to prepare a place where they could cut a few easy purses, they might consider the spoils to be worth the risk. Um, okay. And the bait shall be a festival. Due to the war, we have not held a genuine festival for quite some time, after all. So even if we do not capture the rodents, and it merely brings much-needed succor to the people, I would still consider it a success. Well done, Bernadetta. You have come up with a splendid idea that eluded even myself. Why are you complimenting me out of nowhere? Are you plotting against me? Not particularly, no. Although I am thinking I will require your assistance in this matter from now on. An opera company smack dab in the middle of the Imperial capital, huh? I can't even begin to imagine what that must be like. I mean, I've been all over the place for my mercenary work, but it's mostly just been for small-time rural lords and the like. Honestly, I'd never even met anyone from the big cities like Enbar or Ferdiad before coming to Garrick Mach. Even after I ended up in the capital, all the glitz and glamour made me feel almost like I was living someone else's life instead of my own. 
know, shows in the capital are about a thousand times flashier than the little town festival shows you might be used to. Every important moment of the drama is conveyed through elaborate song, and at the center of the musical ensemble stands its star, the diva. Kinda like how all the most famous mercenary groups have one big name leading the charge. People like the Blade Breaker or the Ashen Demon. You must have had a stage name or something too, huh? Oh, but of course. I was known as the Mystical Songstress. Hey, that's pretty good. There always has been this kind of indescribable aura surrounding you. Thanks, but... I have mixed feelings about the name myself. They called me that because of how suddenly a street orphan like me was discovered and debuted. Yeah, I see how there could be some complicated feelings wrapped up in that. But if you were able to rise from that to D.Va, you must have the chops to back it up. Not that I can even picture what that would sound like. Hey, do you think you could sing something for me? Since you asked so nicely, but I'm only doing it this once, okay? How the crimson rain of pain it came, falling hard upon a land of flame, when the sacred blade had split the sky until the heavens heard our cry. In the hour of vengeance, will you heed the call? On the red fields of revenge, will you help avenge? We must fight strong and stand tall. Well, what did you think? It was, uh, yeah. What, you didn't like it? Not quite the booming applause I'm used to. No, it was incredible, honest. It's just, I'm not really sure I got it, you know? I mean, the only songs I know are the ones sung by mercs in taverns or village girls as they tend the fields. You're kinda in a different league, Dorothea. Sorry, I can't really give you much more than that. Oh, don't worry about it. This sort of thing happens more often than you'd think. Well, as long as you're not mad. If you don't mind, though, maybe you could try again for me sometime? I'd really like to hear you sing some more. And hey, I might even get better at telling you what I thought. <laughs> sure. I suppose I can give you one more chance. There's a face I'm not used to seeing on the training grounds. Something wrong, Hubert? I have merely come to examine the equipment. I hear whispers that it is in quite the state. Further, my being here should come as no surprise. Her Majesty and I train in these grounds often. No kidding. I don't think I've ever seen you two around here. Naturally. We tend to pick times that allow us to avoid a crowd. In any case, if you do desire a session with either myself or Her Majesty, you only need ask. A mercenary with no backing such as yourself has much to gain by earning Lady Edelgard's favor. Of course, we would not be without benefit. Your rise in standing would paint an ideal picture for our people. How do you mean? Many commoners crave progress. A path upward in life. And your example would prove that path exists. The common folk would never expect to see their emperor train alongside someone of your... dubious origins. At least not outside the pages of a fairy tale. Dubious origins? <laughs> uh, a little harsh, don't you think? Still, doesn't sound too bad if I can use that to help lift people up. On the other hand, 
Your presence would also cause great turmoil amongst the elites of our society. They may even despise you. A symbol of the ungrateful commoner, granted privilege well beyond their station. <laughs> but, hey, Dorothea's a commoner too. Why don't they hate her? Dorothea is a famed former songstress, well esteemed in the upper echelons of society. Your situation is vastly different. Right. Well, no point worrying about it if it's gonna happen no matter what. Precisely. Things may yet change in the years ahead. But for now, all we can do is live with it. So, coddling the elites means the commoners end up oppressed, while hoisting commoners up only agitates the elites. Glad I'm not the one who has to rule the Empire. This whole thing sounds like a total mess. <laughs> a mess, indeed. Which battlefield are you headed to? This war is ours to be won. Let's earn our keep. Victory awaits. Now show me your courage. Best keep your wits about. <laughs> Should I be doing? Sure, let's try it. There is not a question of can, only a matter of will. Leave this to me. This place won't be a problem anymore. Take this! Lend me your strength! Need a hand? Let's do this! Yes, not. 
easy. Show me what you're capable of. Time to make a name for ourselves. How did that please you? I won't ever forget your cousin. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. So... what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. Just the beginning. You truly ought to see you reach such heights of achievement. No way I'm running from this. Do not think I'm as careless. We'll strike at the weakest point. Capture the feisty ones. They're worth more alive. Let's seal the deal. I've got this. May continue to rely on me. I cannot withdraw. Not even be faced with a disadvantage such as this. Take care. Yeah, not bad. on our side today. For the fate of Foden. I'll use this strength to perform. I won't let myself stop here.
So, what did you want to talk about, Hubert? I thought we might discuss you, actually. You wish to know more about those eldritch powers of yours, yes? Oh, right. Edelgard said I might have a chance to get to the bottom of that. Kinda figured she'd forgotten since it's been two years now. Pray accept my apology on her behalf. It has been more trying to find answers than we originally expected. With Lord Arendelle lost to the winds, it has been a trial combing through what little evidence he left behind. And of course, we are undertaking all of this in the midst of painstaking preparations for war. Lord Arendelle is the guy who could shapeshift like Tomas, right? The one who escaped? Correct. However, we have recently learned that he goes by another name. Tallis. Did you figure out if my powers are the same as his? And what are my powers anyway? Not some kind of curse, I hope. A fine question. I think it is safe to assume that you possess some form of magic. However, it is not the same ilk as the white and black magic we are familiar with. Yours is, shall we say, dark magic. Heathen craft that is structured differently from conventional spells. Ah. You are familiar with those who slither in the dark, yes? People like Tomas, Kranya, and Tallis. We believe they possess the same power as you. That's tough to accept, but the similarities are too great for it to be anything else. Still, what you think does not matter in the end, because my mind is already made up. So what? Are you gonna banish me someplace far away because I'm too dangerous? It's fine if you do. I'm used to being cut loose. That's just how life as a sellsword goes. Do not be absurd. If we were done with you, we would kill you, not banish you. Fortunately, you are exceedingly talented, and Her Majesty trusts you implicitly. The way I see it, we stand to profit best by keeping you in our service. So you trust me too? Uh... Thanks, I guess. But now we have a more important question to answer. Namely, how you came by your powers. I thought I heard someone talking in here. We were just finishing up. Do you have business with our mercenary friend, Your Majesty? I do. And I suspect it's related to what you were just talking about. Then I will leave you to it. Pray, excuse me. <sighs> you should see the look on your face. Did Hubert threaten you? Don't let it get to you. Yes, he's quite good at that kind of thing, but it comes from a place of caution. I wish that was all that was bothering me. I want to transform the world into a place where no one has to feel trapped by where they came from. When I am done, it won't matter where you are born, whose blood you have, or what powers course through you. Everyone will be treated as equals. That's what we're fighting for, and that is what this war is going to achieve. So believe me when I say this, I don't care who you are. I only care about what you have done, and what you have yet to do. Well, thanks, Edelgard. I feel a little better now.
was amazing! No wonder Edelgard trusts you so much. Oh, hey, Kaspar. You weren't so bad out there yourself. Not that I'm surprised. You must make House Burglies proud. Don't I wish. I'm still pretty steamed about how the last battle went. I can't even outshine you right now, let alone my father. Ugh, it really burns me up. You think? I don't know much about your dad, but I'd say you're on par with me, at least. Maybe even better. Sheesh! Sore winner much? Just you wait, though. I'm only getting started. Old Caspar here's gonna upstage you once and for all. And I'm gonna do it for me. Okay, but think about it. I'm a mercenary and you're a noble. I'll have way more chances than you to excel in battle, which also means way more chances to die. Meanwhile, your dad's the Minister of Military Affairs. You falling in combat definitely wouldn't be a good look. You've got that all wrong. Since I'm his second son, I'm completely expendable as far as he's concerned. Ever since I was born, me and my brother were treated completely different. I don't have a shot at being the heir. Which means the only way I'm getting ahead in life is by proving myself in battle. I mean, I guess I could always go into politics or education or something. The point is, whatever I want to do, I've got to climb up from the bottom to do it. And the climb I picked means building a name for myself on the battlefield, no matter the risks. Wow, that's even harder than I imagined. Not to mention you chose the one path that's most likely to end up killing you. Well, yeah, I've got to live up to the reputation of House Burgley's as a military family. Probably owe that thought to my father. Right. I guess I'm starting to get why you're so competitive with me now. But you should know, I'm not the kind of guy to back down from a challenge. I've been honing my craft as a mercenary for as long as I can remember, even since I was a kid. So you can train till your muscles give out if you want. Some noble brat's not gonna beat me. Oh yeah? Fine. I know I'm not gonna catch up to you overnight. But it'll happen someday. Just you wait. Need something? Is this it? Is this it? See you around. Welcome. soon.
Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. This will help me break new boundaries. Not that there's any point in me getting stronger. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Well, how'd it go? Any results, a good result. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Which battlefield are you headed to?
Make sure you're ready. Very well. The shorter a leash, the better. Dare I say, our time together is actually tolerable? There is no better place for a ride than an open space where one's horse can run free. Do you not agree? Have I ever mentioned how you would fit right in at House Vestra? <laughs> When I told Her Majesty about today, she expressed a wish to come along. You should invite her. Right. Why be choosy? All that matters is that the enemy is dead, and you continue to draw breath. Right. That was a fascinating diversion, as was the chance to study you up close. Battlefield are you headed to? Make sure you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> 